What's going on, people? It's Mr. Back again, and it's a different type of content today. Um, a really interesting show that I'm doing today. Um, as you know, I've been to quite a few podcasts too regarding, you know, it is Forest Games, Home and Away, Forest Latest Stuff, Review Shows, blah, blah, blah. But this is a different, a different type of one today. Um, Gustavo Scott Scarpa is heading to Nottingham Forest in January, and I don't know much about him. I don't know nothing about him. But well, I've got a special guest soon to come in called Rafa from Brazil. He's a Palmares fan. That's give an insight as a fan to, to see how he is, what we cope with Forest, and what he's been doing, what type of player he is as a fan's perspective. So if there's anyone out there that wants to give Rafa any questions, please do. Um, like I said, people, and there's three things that I want to say before I do get Rafa in. Thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed. I have reached the 9K at last. And I want to say thank you, everyone, that has took the time to watch my content as well. Um, it's been a pleasure. So <laughs> my next up is um, it's over it's 10K now. So um, I'm excited now for the, my next journey of Door and Tour. So like I said, people, if you are new to the channel, please do hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And like to comment below, people. Um, this 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 channel is about Rafa Scarpa, so please do, people, ask away to my my, my special guest. Um, before I do get him in, I'm going to go for the, the um, chat as well. Uh, Kev, how are you doing, Kev? Uh, how are you doing, Ditcher? Well, he he was skater boy. He said he power is. See you later, boy. <laughs> uh, and how are you doing? Uh, good evening, door. I hope you are. I'm fantastic, Eve. Uh, he's over 18. If you can't join in, you straight away. He's over 18. With, with the comment, I said, people, if you, if you, I have said if you're 18, you can't join in, but like I said, if, whatever age that like, you can come on, if you are 13 or 14, 15, and you, and you have got proper knowledge on YouTube, please come on in, in future. Channels as well. Um, Paul, how you doing, Paul? Mm, how you doing, little Paul, as well? Uh, how you doing, True Red? I hope you're well. Uh, as well. I do. I've seen Scott's live incredible talent. Is he? Is he? Is he good? Is he really good? As I said we've got we've got a rough uh, that will give the insight. On our new signing as well, on Gustavo Scarpa. So, um, uh, before we do get on as well, uh, Chris, how you doing? I've not seen you for quite a while, Chris. I'm not seeing you for quite a while at all. So, I hope you're okay. Um, how you doing, Paul? I hope you're okay. And lo lo last but not least, Nick, how you doing? And before I do get Rafa in, one more comment as well. Even in all, uh, Mr. Dor Scarpa is just one of the Brazilian uh, by door, great set of pace. He goes around a skateboard expecting that Alan Levine song to be used by the media. And as well, like I said, people, I've got a special guest, Rafa, uh, from Brazil. Um, and as well, please, if you can do a massive favour for me, please show some love to Rafa. Um, let's see, it, was, it was, I think it was two days ago, or two days ago, I did ask Rafa to come on, and he has politely said yes. So people in the comments, please show some love to Rafa. He's going to give the insight of our new siren. Gustavo Scarpa. Hi, Good, Rafa. Good evening, lads. Let's go talk about some football. Yeah, so that's what well, people, this is Gustavo Scarpa. And Gustavo, before we do start, tell me where are you from? Well, my city isn't well known. Uh, my city is called Rolandia. It's in the state of Paraná. 4,008 kilometers away from Sao Paulo. Uh, but Palmeiras has a national sport. You will find Palmeiras fans in Amazon Forest, in Bahia, in in Rio Grande do Sul, in a lot of places. Um, like I said, people, Rafa is going to give the insight of our new sign-in, um, Gustavo Scarpa. So if there's anyone that wants to ask any question to Rafa about Gustavo Scarpa, please in the comments. And if you do want to do any, help me out and do any super chats, to the channel, please do. And before, like I said, I want to just show some um, insight to Scarpa. Um, and there's more stuff there. If, if, I don't know if people can see it. This is a um, Wikipedia. 
Gustavo Scarpa. He's played for a few clubs as well, for Feminese, Red Bull, Brazil, Loan, and, and Palmares as well. Um, and still got, got a, quite a good, good, good stats as well. He's played 235 games as well. And seven, uh, is it, no, 392, is it 392? 392 games and 71 goals. So, but like I said, people, we're going to get, um, ask uh, Rafa about our new signing. So, Rafa, tell everyone, what type of player are we getting at Nottingham Forest? Yeah, you're getting a very good player. He is passionate. He is skilled. He likes to dribble. Um, the guy plays like a 10. Uh, he's not a classic 10, if you, if you understand. Uh, yeah. But he likes to attack. He likes to uh, put uh, some other guys in in space or make some passes to to caught the the defense by surprise. Uh, he likes to put his his players in position to succeed. He's like that guy. Or if he, things are not going well, he tries out too. He shoots outside the box. He goes inside the box and tries to score as well. Hmm. We see on, on his, like I said, you won the um, you won the player. Is it player of the season in Brazil? Yeah. Like won. to talk to us, like I said, what what as you know, he won it. But what 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 did he do? Did, was it the goals, assists? Talk to us. What what did he uh, do? To get that? Kind of both because he's not like uh, uh, he's not a guy that likes to score a lot of goals. He's not that guy that goes in uh, that midfielder that goes into the box and shoots and everything. He does that, but he's more like an assist guy. He's oh, better okay. assisting. Is it, it, is it more of a number ten role, or because as far as as far as for Forest fans, we always get fans who get players who get um, who have number ten and they don't really succeed. Is he that number ten role that he, do you think he'll do well in English, English league? Yeah, I think he can assume your number ten. He plays like a team. Uh, sometimes a bell or manager likes to improvise him on the left winger, or sometimes even the left back, because he's uh, a left with a lot of talent. So one time in the seasons ago, when they didn't have a reserve for a left back, he was this reserve. And the guy, the guy is good. He, they have more space to shine this uh, end of the season because our other midfielder, Rafael Vega, uh, was injured. And he's more like a guy that acts like a second striker. He goes into the box, he shoots from everywhere. He's a refined finish. Uh, but Scarpa is more like the 10. Mm. Uh, there's a question from... Um... From Stan, a member to the channel. And if you do want to be a member to the channel, people, please do. So this is from Stan. Uh, how are you doing, Stan? Will he cope with a physical game in the Premier League? Uh, I think so. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched some games in the Brazilian League. He's a, a, this league is a very physical. It's in a notch above the Argentinian League. Uh, the It's almost like a B League in Europe, like Portugal's League. Uh, Italian's league. I don't know if you consider Italian as second league in in Europe. It's almost in the same category as Premier League in the physical traits. Okay. Um, people, if, 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 if there's fifty three people in. If you can, if you want to, please ask Rafa any questions. He knows quite a lot about Gustavo Scarpa. So, like I said, people, we have <laughs> you've been asking for this. So I have and Rafa has, has politely. Uh, agree to do this. Um, this is for Jay. I don't know if you might might know this player. To Rafa, can he handle the cold? <laughs> uh, because I know it's the weather. Uh, to to weather in Brazil, can he? Um... Uh, I don't know. And this guy Cavalho, who he is? Jack Cavalho. Uh... Jack Cavalho. He was like like a number. He was like like I said. He was like a number ten. Um, at Nottingham Forest. But um, he's like. He play, he, he, he's, he's like a Scarpa, but Scarpa has won. Uh, is the guy that got promoted to choose in, in no, the championship? No, no, no. no, 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 no. He's already no, no, left. 
No, no, it was before that. Before that. Oh, before, before that. Okay. Yeah. He left it, he was number 10 and we, we, we signed him for, I think it was like 15 million and he didn't really, he didn't succeed at Forest. So I think at all the Forest fans, I, I yeah. saw it on social seasons media. Ago? Yes, two, three, three, four seasons ago. And okay. Forest, and this, and this is a question to you, Scarpa, because we know, like I said, it, Scarpa, he's got, he got the player of the year in Brazil. He's got the experience as well at Nottingham, uh, at, with Palmeiras. Do you think, like I said, I know the, the things he's, he's achieved. Do you think, I know 28 years old, it's the, it's the, it's the year that it's, um, it should be ready. For the league. Do, you th- do you think he's ready for the Premier League? That's when we need to ask. I think he, his physical is ready. He's in his peak. Uh, uh, another another aspect, like culture or speed of the game, something may take some time to adjust. Little time, not too much. Because mm. Premier League, it's a bit faster than mm. our, our league and Portuguese league and that stuff. But uh, the guy... I mean, his mental is tough. The guy is experienced. He have gone through a lot of things in his career. He was at his peak. He won a lot of trophies here in Palmeiras. Mm. He he's trying. He he's going to to Europe to live in the dream. He have this dream of going to Europe and succeed in the league, and he's going to live his dream. Mm. Uh, a question from Ricky. I think on, this is another another important one. What's about his temptation uh, temperament? What's that like? Scarpa is low profile guy. Uh, doesn't like fashion. He's married and he's expecting us soon. Uh, he will be English. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got. I think we've seen an interview uh, where after he won his awards, he's got a little bit of good. English. Is it American? A good American, is he? And I see in the chat, he, he loves his um, skateboarding. What, what's it like? Yeah. Like I said, is he like personally loves the media or like I said, low key? No, he likes to do things to to forget football sometimes. Yeah. Like he likes to go wakeboarding, he likes to go skateboarding to, to forget football. He he's when he suspended or something like he's not watching uh, the team he's playing for a game he likes to turn off football when he when he have the chance so uh, these are the things that he try to do to handle the pressure because here the pressure is insane mm. um and this uh, is another question uh, and this is a really good question and I, I was puzzled about this as well this is from Trev Francis Traxfield. Uh, Rafa, do you think he could have been picked for the Brazil World Cup squad? Because, as you know, like I said, won, won the trophies, won the awards. Um, surprise that he's not quite in the Brazil team? Like I said, uh, it's not a surprise. He has a lot of other guys in his position that have more ability. How, Like how he's going to, to take Neymar out of the, this 10 position. Mm. Neymar is improvised, but has the ability to play like 10 and at all. That. But uh, our, our national team manager is not a fan of taking guys from Palmeiras. Because mm. if there's another guy that deserves more, in my opinion, that's our right winger or second striker, Dudu, number seven. Oh, okay. Because he's been in the, I'm sorry to interrupt, just to to finish. Because he's yeah. winning winning this uh, silver ball award like Bola de Prata that ESPN and does every year. He won it every single time he was in Palmeiras. Mm. Every single time since he arrived, so in, and he was was in the national squad just once. So he's a little injustice. Okay. Um... And this question for me, um, as you know, there's always good things about a player. As a fan, is there any things that he needs to learn? I know he's 28 years old. Is there anything, any bad things that Forest fans need to watch out for? 
Sorry, I didn't get the last part. Is there any bad things that Scrapper has done in the past? Like, I don't know, it could be... I don't bad know. things? Yes. No, his guy is very low profile. We we don't have any gossip about him. Uh, we, we fans of Formula just discovered he was going to marry like weeks uh, before. So he hide he hides very well his relationship, the things he does in private, and like if he's recently married, I think he will not be involved in some scandals and other things. Like a bigger name would be. Yeah, he's very low profile. Okay, um, we've got and this is a question from um, from Nick. Um, can you see him playing on the left with Lodi? I don't even know, um, Rafa. We've got Lodi, another Brazilian Lodi. left back. Uh, left back? Yes. Renan Lodi. Yes, that's it. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yes. He can make a good team in the left with, uh, mm. with Lodi. Do you, do you, yeah, do you know which button? I know that question. If you guys you know which... play in 4 I think it's perfect. We, we play for... We play... Right now, we've been playing for three three. So, do, do you think Scarpa? Three. Yeah, do you think Scarpa will? will uh, yeah, will, yeah, he will, used to sit in this position too. If he if he's the offensive midfielder, he used to sit as a as a, a more like defensive midfielder. He will not be so good. Oh, okay. Um, another question from uh, to, is he quick? Yes, he's quick. Uh, not like super speed, but he can beat some defenders if he need to in a run, in a sprint or something like that. If he has uh, a how or a corridor to to sprint, he can he can get it. What's the best five things that he, on the pitch he can do? Like I don't know, set pieces, tackling. What, what's the what's the best thing that he, he can do on the pitch? I think the best thing is. His willing willingness to shoot from from a space that opens. He if he's in the midfield and sees the goalkeeper uh, sleeping, he will try to surprise him. He will shoot from outside the box. His willingness to do things to make our team win is the best best characteristic I think he gets. Mm. Uh, like I said. Before he has a good, he's a good crosser. Uh, he likes to assist. He's like the guy he likes to assist. Put her, comp, put her colleagues in a position to to score a goal, to to win the games. He's more like that guy. If he don't appear, it's okay. If they start off the game, okay too. Mm. Uh, there's 60 people in. If you can do a massive favor for me, please do hit the like button. And if you've got any questions for Rafa regarding Gustavo Scarpa, please do. Um, we've got another, like, another 10 minutes before we leave. Um, I say, I've always asked this question, like I said, he's 28 years old. Um, do you, do you, do you, I've, always, I've, I've answered this question, man. I'm trying to make it, to, to try and make it differently. We know the Premier League's fast. Do you, do you think he, he can cope the pace in this, in this league because we know I've, I've I've not watched Brazil football as much. Okay. Do, do you think he'll cope with a fast football and learn quick because it it does take time to 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 learn the Premier League? But do you think he'll learn to to, to adapt as well? I think he may struggle at first, but he he has the physical to. To get to that point, and at first time he may play a little more like a manager, receives the ball, locates the the player in a better position, makes a pass, or more like a situational player, like I said in corner kicks or in free kicks. Uh, but he, he will, I think he'll adapt very well because. At the like I said before, it's his dream. He doesn't have a second plan. He doesn't intend to be back to Brazil in less than five years. So he will be his best to keep playing in Europe. Mm. Another question 
what's he like with the fans? Because as, as you know, um, there's always going to be, like I said, I know he's really successful with Palmeiras. Um, what's he like with the fans? Is, is he, does he interact with the fans or does he just keep it low-key and say, nah, leave me alone? So what what's he like with uh, interacting with fans? Um, I really don't have any news on that. Never pick it up fight or something with a fan. Uh, but when he's like leaving a training session or something like that, if the fans are standing out there, since Carpa give him a sign or something or a photo, he will attend in without hesitation. Oh, Willie, really? that's good then. Good yes, but, it, but in uh, in his time off, I don't know how he will behave. But mm-hmm. when he's at the uniform of the the team, he will attend the fans without hesitation. I think that... like after a match, no question. Oh, okay, no, I think after the game, there's always like winning Premier League now. They always. Boy fans always behind after the game. They like to take pictures with foot players. I think that's in every club. If, anyway, you mentioned like it with. I know he's got a YouTube channel. Forest fans, if you have not seen it, Scarpa has uh, Gustavo Scarpa has got a YouTube channel. Yes, he got a YouTube channel. N- yeah, not related know. to football. It's not related to football. Talk to us. What, what what is it? What's his YouTube channel? It's related to skateboarding and wakeboarding. He's I don't know how you say that. Rubik's Cube? Rubik's Cube. Yeah, Rubik's Cube. He likes yeah. to solve Rubik's Cube. Just a moment. Yeah. yeah. I'm using my cell phone as a camera, so somebody <laughs> called. <laughs> I had to decline. <laughs> oh, no, if, if you don't sound like Rubik's Cube, um, yeah. I've got one. Sit, stay he, he, I, there's some videos on TV Palmeiras, the official, official channel of Palmeiras, uh, of him teaching and making Rubik's Cube championships with the other guys in the team. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy okay. is just yeah. <laughs> incredible. Um, we've got some more questions from this one, D.A. Chapel. Uh, does he think, what's he like? Is he a free kick specialist and penalties? Uh, uh, pe- he takes penalties when our main, main shooter is out there. That's Rafael Vega. Vega is the penalty taker. He has almost a perfect record. I think he just missed one in 35 or something when he's in in his tenure with Palmeiras. So he takes if the this the first guy is out. Don't know if he will do this way in Forest too, Mm. but he's the guy to to take free kicks and corner kicks. Free kicks, he doesn't don't like to shoot directly. Sometimes he may do, mm. but he is more like the guy to cross to make a pass to to a center back or to a striker to make the goal. Uh, another question: uh, it's five more, it's five more minutes before. If you have got any questions for Rafa, please do. Um, no, I can I can stay until. Nah, we'll, give, we'll do five minutes. We'll do five minutes. You can, you can go. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, and this is a question for you. On this is from Obi uh, Aberdeen Forest. Do you think he'll be starting training with Forest before it, his contract begins in January to get to know his teammates, or is he still under contract with Palmeiras? His, his contract terminates this December. I think Palmeiras will will let him leave early, so he can join your yeah your mid season. We're kids, so far as fans. Trano, I know, don't know how to call it, but I think he can join Nottingham Forest mid season, mid season, press season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that um, this is from Silverware. Uh, I read it, his contract ends in 31st yeah. December. Yeah, but that... we have, we have a, I think, I think it's a law here in Brazil that if a player contract is going to expire this year, like when six months before the expiration date he can sing a contract to a pre-contract to uh the club that he wants so uh he's not protected by palmeiras contracted by any means he is a free agent oh, okay that good news for his fans so he, he could be back for the preseason friendly games as you know forest are playing um, Olympia, Cost, Valencia. Yeah, winter is a break. Thank you, Hemphill. So, 
so yeah, so we all, we, I think hopefully we see him in pre-season. And as well, I could be uh, I could be going to Valencia and Olympiacos people to watch out for them vlogs. Um, that's not all he's rougher. Um, he's 28 years old. Like I said, he's got, I've seen on his, on his channels, he's got like a, uh, a crazy personality. I've uh, been, uh, boxing, uh, yeah, he, uh. He yeah. made, he made, in his channel is everything he does outside football. Uh, I think he's crazy. He seems crazy. But do, uh, like I said, do, do you think do you think he will, su he will succeed with Nottingham Forest? That's the main question. Do you think he will succeed? I think he will succeed. He will play good football. May may just enough to to save Nottingham from relegation. Mm. Yeah, but don't expect a lot of goals from this guy. Expect assists. Yes, I think that's what we need. You know what? Before we go out, Rafael, there's one more question I'd like to ask you. What are you going to miss about Rafa? What are you going to miss about Scarpa? Yeah, what you're going to miss about him is about being in a, is it a green shirt for your club. What are you going to miss about him? Uh, yeah, like I said, his ability to take corner kicks and free kicks because we don't have anyone in the in the roster to take his place immediately. We don't have a substitute. We would have to to shop for one midfielder, and there be guys like Scarpa becoming every time more difficult to find. Yeah. And they don't have anything closer to him in the roster. Like uh, Vega is is not the opposite, but he's not like an assist like Scarpa. Vega is more like a finisher. He he will attack the spaces and make other things. We don't have a substitute for him. Mm. Uh, I've got a question for is it Charlie? Um, I think this is for you. If Forrest were sign a Brazilian uh, from Brazil league to play along Scarpa, who should it be? Uh, German Cano. It's an Argentinian, Argentinian striker, um, who I think this season he made forty-five goals, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Uh, the guy is pretty good, and it's an Argentinian. Oh, okay. Um, if, if he receives in the box, it's a goal. Oh, okay, first fans, yeah, that that's quite hot. Um, I think there's, there's no, no a few questions. Has he, has he got a nickname, Rafa? What has he got a nickname? Nickname, yeah, what's the what's Scarpa's um, nickname? Star of Scarpa, has he got a nickname that's like been called, but like it's called? I don't know. Some guys, there's a guy like our left back calls him Maluqueiro, but I don't know if you guys <laughs> like that. Oh, there, there, there is where. We're gonna call him Ask Raf. Something that's it. like that. Something yes, like that. That's it. Well done, Jay. <laughs> Something well done. like that. Yes. Um, uh, here, here, he really, he really liked to to tease the guys, the non-Brazilian guys in our roster, the Uruguay and the Argentina. We like it to to tease he, these guys a lot to see his reactions. Uh, and now he's going to be the the four again. Yeah. Um, How the turntables. <laughs> um, Rafa, it's, it's been an absolutely pleasure for taking your time for the channel. And I've got, there's a comment for you as well, Mrs. Uh, from Andrew. Rafa, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Andrew. All, giving Appreciate all the information. You. Bless you and your family. And like Rafa, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for um, taking your time for coming to the channel. And maybe... maybe we, if when Forrest do sign him, like some, maybe um, so Mo can give us more to talk about Rafa. But um, it's been a pleasure, Rafa. It's been uh, like I said, thank you for taking your time and talking about Forrest's possibly new signing, Rafa Scarpa. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dor, for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. People, people in the chat. Know, just... <laughs> if you guys, chat... do you guys have any questions? No, the the, chat, uh, don't people, know. It, it, we have a lot of time to 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 spend. <laughs> no, no, it's time. But I think I think it's my time because I've got work in the morning. So, <laughs> but it's been a, it's been a, it's been an absolutely pleasure, Rafa, for um taking for taking out your time as well to come on this channel.
So you are ending right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, thank you, thank you, Mr. Dar, for opportunity. Uh, I don't have any channel or anything to to be follow that. So thank you for opportunity and until next super to enter next time thank you thank you Rafa. I'm, pl I'm pleased to love to you as well thank you very, thank you for coming on cheers right so that's Rafa. it's been a pleasure what a uh, guy for like all the way from brazil to talk about nothing for us to do sign because scarpa um it's been a pleasure thank you very much uh, for coming on Gustavo. and thank you for everyone for the time as well to to watch this uh, this because like i said i don't know nothing about him so as well, so Rafa, people in the comments, please give a thank you to Rafa for coming on. Um, as well, uh, this one, Paul, Mr. Doyle, this channel gets better. Thank you, I do appreciate that, Paul, as well. Uh, this is from Nick, thank you, Rafa. Um, as well, big chopper, big up, Rafa, as well. This is from Jordan Smith, thanks, Rafa. And again, Nick from Nick Subin, thanks, Rafa, again. Give, give some simple information about our new signing. I got a um, super chat as well. Thank you, Mr. Door, to keep the good channel. Thank you for the two pound, Andrew. I much appreciate for that. Right, people, let me get going. Um, and as you, as you know, it is woke up season as well, so don't be much of me, but I will be doing um, may, maybe I'll be doing a quiz on, a, on somewhere um, around the time. I will be doing a little bit of content as well. Um, I'm definitely going to Olympiacos. That is a fact. The Valencia, I don't know what I'm doing about Valencia yet. But if I do, you lot will be there and I will be doing something special with that vlog as well. Um, there's only things as well. And as well, I forgot to mention, Des is um, doing a run. When Forest play Leicester, when Leicester comes to seat ground, Des is doing a run from um, Leicester to Nottingham. So I will soon be doing a link for that as well. So people, if you can, I will put a link in the description uh, after this channel. So support Des when he's doing from his run from Leicester to Nottingham. It's a special course as well. Um, I think it's ch children. I think it's schools to do children. So people, if you can support Des, please do. Right, people, I'm get going. Thank you for everyone as well for coming on. Thank you for Rafa as well coming on my channel and taking the time to talk about our new sign Gustavo, uh, Gustavo Scarpa as well. Hopefully I see you soon, people. And again, come forest, get a merch of a sign in. Peace and love up the forest.